Hi, welcome to another Naked Truth with me, Clara Hermit, here in Mexico in Mazunte, where I am currently studying, learning, and growing a lot. I'm studying a lot about yoga. I'm not growing a lot about yoga. There's going to be more videos about that. Today, I wanted to talk about dun, 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 why I am single. Oh my god, this is so awkward. It's like a big deal, isn't it? It's like, I'm a grown woman, where's my boyfriend? My friends are like, engaged, some of them are married, or they've got like, long-term boyfriends, and here's little old Clara, still single. I haven't always been single. I have had boyfriends at some points in my life, honestly. Sometimes being single is a choice, and sometimes it's something that we want. I have done a video called Sex and Me, click here if you want to watch it which talks all about my relationships in the past and how I grew up not really knowing what love was, what a good relationship was with good communication. I never really learned to communicate with men, but I could have sex with men. I did that. It made me feel horrible. It made me feel sad and it made me feel as if something was missing and I talk about something being missing quite a lot. I just needed affection and I needed comfort and I didn't know how to ask for that. I just knew that I could get sex. I mean it happens to I think a lot of women because they don't know how to communicate what they actually want. As a woman you're taught from a very young age that you are this sexual being, this sexual object. Guys are taught as well by the things that they see that women are sexual objects and and so I, I just fell into like this cycle and it was very unhappy but watch that video to find out more about that. I had an amazing boyfriend when I was in my early 20s. I decided to split up with him because I was being horrible to him. I was horrible to him and I was horrible to him because I had so many issues going on around you know, my mum and eating disorders and all of this kind of stuff that I just couldn't be horrible to him anymore and so I decided that it was best to finish it. Since then, I've had a boyfriend. It wasn't a very comfortable relationship. It wasn't a very nice relationship. And a lot of the time, relationships have ended with guys cheating on me or with me being unable to communicate and just being a little bit crazy, being a little bit like, being filled with all of this emotion that I don't understand. So I'm just gonna and let it out on you. My relationships were really unsuccessful. What's the point of that? What is the point of that? At the start of this trip, I was like, you know what? I'm kind of done with all of that. I'm done with like having casual sex with people because I've done it and it doesn't work. It doesn't make me happy. It doesn't make me contented. It, I don't really enjoy it. I, I enjoy it in the moment sometimes. Some yeah, some no. Afterwards, I feel awful and I don't want to put myself through that anymore. Now I kind of uh, am in a place where I'm like, you know what? I have so much energy and time to work on myself and I have so much love for myself right now that I don't need anybody else. In the past, I really felt like I need a boyfriend, I need a boyfriend, I need attention, I need affection, I need love, I need, I need, I need. And when you're like that and you're always taking from people, I don't know how a relationship can ever work because no matter how much somebody loved me at that point, it would never have been enough. It would never have been enough. I would still be annoyed with that person because I still felt unloved and I would blame them for it, which isn't fair. And that's not a relationship that I wanted to be in. I certainly didn't want to be in a relationship with somebody just for the sake of it, so I could tick the box of getting married, so I could tick the box of starting a family. I really want those things, but I don't want to just do it for the sake of doing it. I want to make sure that it's someone that I can actually be happy with, someone that is my best friend and someone that I can just have great times with and be really happy with because if we're not here to be happy then what are we here for? Right now I am choosing to be single. I am also choosing not to have sex just because I don't want to cross the lines. I don't want to blur things. I want to be able to start a relationship with somebody and open communication with them. So the talking and the getting to know them comes first before the sex because my past patterns, once that happens, that's all I know how to do and then I find it really hard and confusing in my head. So I just, I don't need anyone now. I realise that. I realise that I have all the love I need and I've got everything that I need in my life. So now 
to have somebody to not be single would just be to compliment what I already have and that's brilliant that means I can take my time I can get to know people I can work out if this is somebody that I want to spend more time with or this isn't somebody that I want to spend more time with I feel like finally I am in charge of what I want to do I don't I don't need anybody and that is so nice I don't need them I don't want them it's like you have a really nice dinner and you're not hungry you don't need dessert you don't need it you're not starving you don't even know if you want it but you know it's going to taste good so you're like do you know what this is going to make me feel even better than I already do this is going to add to my life this is going to give me a few extra pounds on the hips so I am going to have the dessert and that's kind of how I feel I want to find the right dessert I want to find a dessert that I can have every day for the rest of my life until I find that dessert I just want to keep making me happier and making me better and sharing what I can with you with my friends and my family sharing experiences society has a lot to answer for because it builds this map of how your life should go and when you don't start ticking the boxes on the map or ticking the boxes on the list it might be school college university career um, engagement wedding wife children you know when you don't start ticking those boxes at the right ages at the right time you automatically feel bad because society puts all of these images into your head you have to do this you should do this but if you accept those you start to live in a prison you're you think you're free you can walk around you can go over there you can go over there but you're not really free because you're living in this prison of thoughts and beliefs that society has given you that's round your head that says you have to do this because if you don't do it you feel so bad about yourself that you think surely I have to do this but what you don't realize is that you've been programmed you've been programmed since you were a little kid to make sure that you tick all of these boxes by your family by society and your family don't know any better because the same thing happened to them but now it's time for us to start opening our eyes and start opening our hearts and start to realize that that's not how life is supposed to be it doesn't have to be like that and I'll be doing more videos on that as well because I have so many people that are like, oh, I wish I could just give up my job and go traveling. You can, you just don't want to because you're too scared. You're too scared by this prison. You, you won't break out of it. You're in the prison, you're in it. You think that the things that society have taught you are real. They're not real. They're not real. If you choose to believe them, they're real, but they're not. Right, love you guys, this has been The Naked Truth. It's been about why I am single. Hopefully you liked it, you enjoyed it. I will be back in the UK really soon. Yeah.